Hey everybody, this is, I believe, the very first LEGO custom locomotive that I have made to look like a specific real-world engine. It's based off the once very popular, I guess still fairly popular amongst enthusiasts, but once popular out on the road, uh, EMD F40 PH. And this specific one, I think, is a little bit closer to an F40 PHR variant. And uh, the, I actually used to see these when they were in service with this paint scheme, the Phase 3 uh, Amtrak livery. I didn't use any custom stickers here, obviously. It's just you know actual brick building. But I used to actually see these in use on, on actual rails in California back in, in the 80s. And I also had an HO scale model of one of these, a cheap one, a Bachman, at one point. And it just feels really nice to have a Lego version uh, at this time as an adult. Now, this is built to a six wide uh, size. I won't say scale because the proportions aren't ideal, aren't exactly right here, but six wide, you know, for the main hull, the main body, which is just the size that I personally use. It's a lot easier to make things that look realistic when you go larger, when you go to eight wide, eight wide or even bigger than that. Uh, the bigger you make things, the easier it is to make them look good in, in Lego, as long as you have the parts. But this is the size that I like to use, and I think that this is recognizable enough. I would like to get it to look a little bit better, especially with the windscreen, but I do have at least the main, you know, the, the windshield. I, I, I do have at least the main features there that I want to see, including all the lights, including the couple of ditch lights down here. It was very important for me to get the stacked headlights there. Uh, I think eventually they'll come out with, you know, LEGO will come out with a version of that specialized little, little rounded edge plate piece that I used there in gray. Once they do that, then things will look much, much better because the black kind of brings, I don't know, just too much of the black down. And ideally that should be recessed in there, but there's just no reasonable way to do that. Perhaps once LEGO makes some, some gray versions of the 2x2 wedge plates, then I can inset it a little bit. But for now, this was the best that I could do after uh, several major, major changes of working on the, the nose and probably, I want to say, 20 to 30 minor revisions, just iterating across different possibilities, different ways to connect things, putting tiles across the top to hide away the, the studs, using a jumper in the center to create a little bit of a flat area with a center connection, just all sorts of different possibilities. I went through and this is what I want. This is about the, the best look that I came up, with, came up with for me, just to me personally. I got the little angle on the side going between the black and the gray there. It does have the, uh, the side view mirrors that were actually deployed on these things for passenger usage has the correct number of uh, fans up top for this this model. I believe it has about the right shape of fuel tank in cross section, but the, the again, the, the proportions are not ideal. Looks like I need to work on that rear truck just a little bit, get that covered up just a little bit more, but it's using the nine volt motor up front. Got a little bit of stair access there, although I mean, details are a little bit lacking for access for the engineer. I do have just one figure inside the cab at this time. And again, I didn't use any custom stickers, so it doesn't have as much detail as as it ought to for like a produced thing. Let me actually keep turning this around, make sure you can see the rear as well. I used the relatively recent two by six rounded corner plates uh, that have been used a lot in the Speed Champions sets especially to get the, the shaping of the colors to go around. You know, I needed to have those stripes just staying at that, that same thickness for the sake of consistency. And again, got some of the lights where I need them to be. I kind of need that center section, the, the center two studs to be inset just a little bit to look a little bit more like a door. Again, custom, uh, custom stickers would have helped out with that a lot. But all in all, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with this effort, 
I think that uh, from a distance and from most angles it looks pretty recognizable. I think once you get closer to a, a front view that's when it it breaks down just a little bit mostly because of the dark color behind here. I tried also using the, uh, the one by two half width Technic uh, lift arm piece there which could not hold any clear pieces on front any actual lenses uh, but that allowed me to get gray in that space instead and it just didn't look good enough to me I really needed to have the, the lenses on there this doesn't use any illegal building techniques as far as I can tell I think I, I stuck to my guns pretty well and just doing things using standard techniques um, it's fairly hollow inside it does have some solid areas I did intentionally choose to use a larger number of pieces than I needed to going down the sides in order to create some extra texture there which is actually inspired by the real thing or the real things uh, if you want to see something that's that's probably closest to this specific model and if you want to you know do some some Google image work Look up the 40th anniversary uh, heritage uh, version of this that, that Amtrak did. Look up Amtrak uh, F40PH, 40th anniversary, or engine number 406, if I'm remembering that correctly, to get the, the closest thing. I did look at multiple engines from different eras to kind of pull ideas and look at different angles and such, but that was the main one that I think is, is closest to what you'll see here if you just want to do a little comparison. The roof is a little bit uh, a little bit smooth for me but at least it does have the major shapes that I want there including down to some single stud level stuff but uh, that would definitely benefit from some stickers as well but all in all I'm happy to have this thing. I've always liked this this engine, I've always liked this color scheme. There's a lot of just uh, good feelings from my childhood kind of wrapped up into this look. And it was an interesting and different challenge for me, actually trying to do something somewhat replica-like. I usually take inspiration from real life, but then try to add my own creativity to come up with something a little bit unique. But for this, I uh, just, had enough of a connection to the specific design that I wanted to go ahead and make just that. So this goes into service on my layout in New Jang City, pulling my modified Metro Liner, well modified and custom Metro Liner based cars, which were in turn completely based upon Amtrak, right down to the Phase 3 color scheme. They just had a more Genesis inspired engine which on my layout I've, I've modified further to be a little bit closer but still not really a replica attempt like this one was. Uh, this engine does use the new gray so a modern light bluish gray compared to the, the rest of the rolling stock which uses the old gray but my old gray is in pretty good shape uh, pieces that have yellowed a bit have been restored with the hydrogen peroxide technique so there's not too much visual difference between them i think if you're if you're looking for it then you'll see the difference and then you'll probably never be able to unsee it but uh, just a, a casual observer just watching this going around uh, i think we'll see just a pretty good co continuity of the color schemes uh, I'm, I'm actually off just by I believe it's a height of one plate that I needed to move the stripes I wasn't even thinking about that I didn't even try to line it up with my existing rolling stock as I was building this I just tried to put the the colors and the, the transitions from from the black to gray where they felt right to me and fortunately they did end up in a, a pretty good place so that's another thing where if you look carefully you'll notice that there is a misalignment in the height but uh, I think that's not such a bad thing you know Amtrak has had many different color schemes they, they've always mixed together or they very frequently mixed together anyway so I think this is not too far off and most of the time you're, you're not even going to notice that little bit of a little bit of a mistake honestly that that I made that uh, I just didn't catch until it was a little bit late eventually I'll probably come back and fix that I may make some changes to this over time 
Certainly if LEGO comes out with some more pieces in colors that I need that will make this look better and make it look more accurate, then I will swap those in very gladly. But for now, this is in done for now status. So I'm just going to leave it as is and move on to some other things. Hope you've enjoyed having a look at this and uh, I'm glad that I was able to share it with you all. If you want to see more stuff going on in New Jang City and more custom builds from me, be sure to stay tuned for updates on my channel. And of course, you can always check out previous ones and other builds by just looking through my playlists. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.